Purple Flag Status is about recognising the work that goes into making a town safe. People know they can come in, they can have a safe and enjoyable night out, they know that there are lots of partners working to keep them safe and to make sure that they enjoy every minute they spend in the town centre. It's a credit to everybody involved that we have regained Purple Flag Status. Had we not had street passes, we would not have got Purple Flag Status from the very beginning. Their dedication and commitment, I think, is reflects a lot of volunteer groups throughout the country. They go out, they interact with the community and visitors. They just make it very welcoming. Chippenham Street Pastors is made up of 25 volunteers representing 11 churches in the town. We're here to care, listen and help everyone in the town's nighttime economy. That could be a member of public coming into town to celebrate. Alternatively, uh, the police officers and also the licensed store staff in town. This morning's breakfast event was an opportunity for lots of different partners and businesses and members of the community to come together and find out more about Purple Flag and also to celebrate the fact that Chippenham has retained its Purple Flag status after its renewal this year. We've been residents in Chippenham for the best part of 20 years now. My children are probably starting to think about going out into the town environment so to know that so much fantastic work is being done by the partnership, by the local council, by the, the, the third sector organisations, the street pastors, the police, to make Chippenham Town in the evening such a safe and welcoming environment is really, really important. Yeah, it's a lot better around the town now. There's not so much trouble at night time and stuff, and a lot for more things, and people are helping each other, and it's a lot better. And so it's really good to know that Purple Flag are there if everyone on a night out, anybody gets in trouble, or any of my friends who are female or male. It's nice to know that somebody's there to help, and somebody's there when we're on a night out, rut, consumed with alcohol, and typical teenage things, but it's just good to know someone's there to keep us safe. I have been here in about 10 years, 10 years, because I couldn't access, because I couldn't access the building. So to come in and see it packed out like this, and it's fully accessible for every member of the community, well, it's wonderful. Everything that Chippenham Bid is all about is about drawing people into the town centre to support the local businesses, keep the town centre alive, because if we don't use Chippenham, then we're going to lose it. I think the purple flag has really, really helped boost the, the quality of the, the late night establishments and the quality of, of the on-street presence as well. And when we close the doors at midnight, uh, we're, we're seeing the, the town being policed and looked after and maintained really, really well. So there's certainly been a decrease, I think, in the, the amount of incidents that we get called to. Speak to the street pastors, speak to the police officers, find out what it actually means for them to be part of a purple flag environment um, and keep, helping keep people safe. This evening we've got a range of activities taking place in Chippenham Town Centre to celebrate Purple Flag. There are lots of really fantastic venues for people to come in um, and take advantage of. We've got lots of great pubs, we've got some new places opening quite often. Um, there's not very many vacant places in Chippenham so as soon as somewhere vacant becomes available someone else gets in there really quickly because it's actually a really lovely town to come and hang around in.